I had actually always wanted to be a writer from the time I was perhaps five years old. I told stories to my mother and made her write them down. But in, in, in America, um, writers, authors, filmmakers, musicians, it is, it is not considered a wise career move, a good thing to do. So my parents encouraged me to be other things, to be a lawyer, to be whatever. And I would, sit, I, I would listen to them, but then I would work at my own craft of being a writer. I did not think I was going to be so lucky. I thought I would always have to have another job and work nights after I came home to be a writer. But for me, the, the writing was something I, I, I had to do. It is, it, is, it is a compulsion. It is an addiction. It is, it, is a, it is something outside of me that pulls me like a magnet. And I'm just so lucky that I get to be able to do that and also earn a living. I, I, I was influenced tremendously by all what they called in America the pulp fiction writers, but also the noir writers and the noir film writers who, who often were anonymous. Uh, in terms of literature, there was, of course, Dashiell Hammett, there was Raymond Chandler, Ross MacDonald, uh, Ross Thomas, uh, John Steinbeck, uh, Sinclair Lewis, Upton Sinclair. I start listing all the influences. And I can't stop. James Cain. It, it, it becomes you know, Jim Thompson. Any writer, every writer, if they're lucky, gets to follow the lead of other authors. In my case, because I lived in such an isolated place and because I had access to books and to movies without any cost, I had a huge education from some of the best writers out there uh, and some of the best film artists, everyone from Hitchcock to Howard Hawks to John Ford, uh, Francois Truffaut uh, was in later years when I saw him a, a huge influence. Uh, so when I start to think of, of, of what I know and how I know how to make a sentence or a paragraph work, I think, no, I learned this from those who came before.